Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers and the Rice Owls. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, you get Shock City, especially when they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. The Owls are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. Number one, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Second, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the boards. Lastly, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. On the outside, he's got an open look for the shot. He launches the bomb. Great shot. Trying to feed the low block. He fakes the shot. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Up and inside. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block with the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I tell the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Down inside. In the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The ball goes out of bounds. The crowd is definitely doing their thing. Listen to the chant. It really is something, isn't it? He nails the bucket. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. The center gets the pass. Perfectly executed. He can't stay with him. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Go into the low block. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Look at that spacing. The small forward takes the pass. He shoots from the baseline. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Now trying to feed the low block. There's a double team waiting there. The shooting guard takes the feed. He takes the three. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. 
The center gets the ball. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drains it. Great anticipation defensively. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Goes up with a shot. In and out with Ooh. tough luck. He keeps his dribble as they reset. He unloads a three. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Dump it inside. Picks off the lazy pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The point guard with the ball. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Turns it over. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Let's take another look. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Number 41, pump fakes. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. There's a steal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The Hilltoppers are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He misses the first. Top of the key. Sinks the shot. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Watch out, the five-second count is getting close, Brad. Steal.
Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Way off target. On the outside. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Turnover City, now we're always really the gate. Any offense. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. The Hilltoppers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Time to pick up the defense here now. He tries to beat the clock. The Hilltoppers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brady's on fire. Entry pass in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Frustration right there. Gave it up. So, Dick, tell us, how might home court advantage come into play here? I'll tell you what, Brad. If I had a choice, I'd always elect to play at home. You got the fans on your side. You know where the dead spots on the floor are. The list goes on and on. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He puts it up. He gets the shot to fall. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams looking to get things going here. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, it's early out there, but both coaches are demanding both teams turn up their emotions and get physical out there on the hardwood. All right, thanks, Aaron. Rice are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. Moving it around the perimeter. Got a wide open look. Working it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Had a momentary look from three-point land on the outside. 
Goes for the deep one. That's good. Takes away the pass. Pushes it up. He shoots from the elbow. He nails the shot. That's a 7-0 run. He intercepts it. Adkin is seemingly at an emotional low right now. He's got to snap out of it. His team needs him. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Up and inside. In the paint. There's the trap. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dan. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Backcourt violation call. A little bit of a mental lapse by the offense that time, Dick. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Makes his second shot. Gets all of them. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper, looking for a good shot. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. He looks at the hoop. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Intercepted. You can't get away with that. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The Owls go to the line for the first time in this game. And there they miss one. He makes it. This is college basketball at its best, Nick. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. 
Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. On the outside, he shoots from left of the circle. He's money with the shot. Unloads a three. He knocks down another bucket. Dip. This kid's got skills, Brad. Steals a pass. Double team now, bad angle. Got the shot if he wants it. From three-point land. Off the rim and no good. He got the bucket to go and he'll have the chance to add one more. He saw the foul coming, Brad, but he got it up anyway. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Takes it off him. Fast break possibility coming. Looking for contact. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw the foul. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. Good fake. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. On the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. There he the ball loose. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. He shoots from the angle. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Look at that spacing. Picked off. Easy dude coming here, Brad. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside. Entry pass in the paint. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. They'll work it around the arc. Got some room. Looking for a good shot. Moving it around the perimeter. 
top of the circle. The Hilltoppers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. From downtown. They let him get into a rhythm. Picked out of the air. With the big shot. Misses on a chance for three. At the end of the first half, the Hilltoppers lead by 29. Rice has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry. Dick, this has got upset written all over it. A team that's not supposed to win versus a team who's supposed to win. That means one thing. The lower-ranked team has nothing to lose. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding it. Gets the rejection. Oh, what a strip, Rad. They work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Jump hook from the low block. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. High post screen. So effective, that screen. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. <laughs> on the outside. Takes away the pass. Looks at the three, makes it. <laughs> Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He's got to move the ball. Tries for two, can't get the shot to drop. They work it around the perimeter. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Picks off the pass. Transition opportunity coming up. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble attack here and turns it, draws the foul, and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby, that's his name. I like that in the player. He wants the crowd to get pumped up, Dick. He is feeling it. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. He'll visit the charity strike. Well, the arc looked good. He gets the rebound. And the ball goes out of bounds. 
Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. He intercepts it. Fast break opportunity here. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. Gave it up. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's an 11-0 run. I look for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dump it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they are. Yeah, that helps. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. On the outside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Moving it around the perimeter. With the J. Knocks it down. And the ball goes out of play. Nick, I don't know if the glass is half empty or half full, but it's about half full in here. Yeah, it's about half full right now. That doesn't give you that emotional setting that you like as a home court. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Good job defensively. Up and inside. Looking for a screen on top and got it. The fake. Gave it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. Count that as a personal foul. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing. You don't get a big edge as a home team. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I'll tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Too many dribbles and a steal. Applying lots of pressure, Brad, and looking for the steal as well. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The Owls have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Stolen ball. Here we go on the break. Jumps in. We get another look.
work the perimeter. Got a guy right on him. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Gave it up. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? In and out. Perfectly executed. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Gets it to fall. any time he got the ball in the right position and then what it does it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn a high screen fronts him first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us wow what hops baby what hops he tries to knock down the three he gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. sucker out of the game, man. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He draws a foul. We expected this one to be going the other way, Dick, and it's been the opposite of what everybody anticipated. The strong team still trailing here in the second half. I don't know if they're ever going to get in front. I'll tell you, basketball is a game of intensity, emotion, and passion. When you give that edge to someone, they get the winner's edge. And right now, the underdog has it. Hey, tell me, we got a replay ready for that one, Brad? They're feeling it. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turn around jumper. Rice are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Shoots it. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. Takes the pass in the paint. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. From the baseline. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Steals a pass. the 
top of the key. He gets it to fall. In the paint. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. On the inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the bucket. And he scores despite the hack. Terry look from three-point land goes up for two he allowed the screen to develop before he tossed in a nice inside basket intercepted the point guard receives the pass There's a double team waiting there. Drains the shot. He shoots from right of the circle. There was no doubt about that one. Got some room. He puts up the tray. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. That was nice. The Owls are behind by 19. On the outside, Elam receives the ball. Takes the shot. He makes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Nice fake. Jump hook from the low post. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Takes it off him. Got the high pick. Here's a double team. Stolen. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. seconds to get a shot off he goes for three great shot on the outside he shoots from the top of the key knocks it down I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Dump it inside. He shoots from long range. Got it. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. 
Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. They work it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. Drains it. Moving it around the perimeter. In the paint. Pressure that basketball. Shots there if he wants it. He looks for the bomb. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Double team now. Bad angle. Taken away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. Stop and pop. He hits it. There they come with a double team to stop it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Oh, yes. <laughs> For two, perfectly executed. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Looking for a good shot. Tries one from three-point land. He hits the shot. If you watch it again, it's even better. play anticipated well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action looking to move it around the perimeter ten seconds showing on the shot clock that tight defense forces a five-second call. <laughs> Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Picked off. Look how speed, I tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. I think he's trying to upset him with the taunts, that's for sure. Oh, oh Brad, he's taunting his opponent. They work the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Oh,
Rice loses this game in a mocking fashion. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were their favorites coming into it. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.